What's good, everyone? We are back with Armored Core. We're locked in. This is going to be fun. Next month or so is going to be really fun. When this game launches, we're going to have a great time. We have 3v3, 2v2, and 1v1 for those of you who don't know. Now, there is some contentious news in terms of PvP that we do have to talk about. Um, they're doing something very interesting, and I have faith that FromSoft kind of knows what they're doing here. Shooters are a different breed, though. You have to be really careful with shooters because you can just do one or two things and mess everything up. They're going to have the hard and soft lock targeting system that's in the campaign that's going to be in PvP. The reason I'm not necessarily too upset about it is because FromSoft has a decent reputation and also as long as there's some measure of a skill gap, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. I prefer larger skill gaps personally. It is what it is. He said in an interview that the main like goal when you're fighting another player is to disengage their targeting system as well as to stagger the other player as well. So like you're flying over his head, you're repositioning yourself, you're going to try to shoot some missiles, try to get him to stagger himself. That's really where the gameplay is. And as long as the you know skill gap's large enough, I'm cool with it. I'm happy with it. They can do that. We just need to make sure there's a skill gap. Like For instance, let's say... I get King of the Hill or CTF, I'll put 10,000 hours in. Give me like a basic like ELO system, CTF, King of the Hill, I mean I'm in. I'm so in. You give me that and I'm very satisfied. Will they do that? I hope we get more than just like Team Slayer and PvP. And I know that like in order to create solid skill gaps, it shouldn't just be rock, paper, scissors. That's really what I kind of want to make sure that this game avoids. If it's just rock, paper, scissors, that's no fun. We need real, honest skill gaps, and the game has it. I mean, all the components are right there for them to not capitalize on this opportunity. And the reason that they might not capitalize on this opportunity is because this is a passion project. I know that this is not the scope of Elden Ring from other streamers saying that this is kind of, uh, you know, it's just lower scale. I'm okay with that as long as they're willing to iterate and be up to speed with it. And I think it's going to be one of these projects where, like, look hopefully i'm wrong i would love it if the pvp was incredibly deep if everything was just fundamentally awesome like i want to get to the point where i put 100 hours in and i'm like oh i'm just getting started that would be wonderful i would love that experience now are we going to get that probably not because it's a passion project because of all these things you know it could be we get a bare bones type of game and as long as the numbers are good like if millions of people buy the game then they'll add on expansions then they'll add all this other stuff that could be what this is too they might just give us a fundamentally good game and then add on to it and that's really kind of what i want to get to all you really need for these games to work is good fundamentals good mechanics engaging combat i don't need anything else if you have those fundamentals set up, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. Fundamentals, mechanics, combat engagement, decent skill gap. <laughs> the game will last. Now, are they going to do that? I don't know. Shooters are very different than like Elden Ring or RPGs. and I think they could as long as their team is willing to kind of like dedicate some like after hour resources to like tweaking stuff. Are they going to do that? I don't know. I really don't know. I hope they do. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If I'm wrong about anything, if I'm missing information, feel free to let me know because this game is going to be my game. And I'm going to just launch into it. I'm going to sink a bunch of hours in. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. That pretty much does it for me. Oh, 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 oh. Here's what we can talk about. I don't even care if they, like, just take different areas from the campaign and just like slice them up into pvp zones do that that's great we can do that too we don't need timeless maps we just need some content just give us symmetry give us a symmetrical map with some maybe cool routes something like that we don't need a lot we just need a fundamentally good experience and some good foundational material to build a good game on if we have that we're golden the issue is, is that you get these developer studios with hundreds of millions of dollars. They don't care about the players. They don't listen to the players. And any toxic, what they consider to be toxic or hateful feedback, they never get past it because, and they can't ever let go of their assumptions because it's all ego and identity and this is what I think and they're just haters and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, they're not haters. They're not haters. They love the game and it's just coming out in a really 
toxic way because they're gamers who are sitting in a basement and screaming into the darkness okay so that's what gamers do and you just have to be able to parse out the fucking nonsense from the validity like i get it it's difficult <laughs> it's not easy to deal with gamers man they start raging at you on twitter and it's like how can you even think coherently i get it i get it Anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed the take, let me know. If not, I don't know. I did the best I could. Much love, guys. Uh, take it easy. Till next time. Peace.